I look naked. I should have picked a different shirt for this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm going to be trying out some new products today. A lot of new stuff um, that I've gotten recently. So I picked out some of my things that I've been wanting to try the most. So today's video is in partnership with Foxy Bay and they're one of my favorite hair styling brands. I know I recently got my hair done and I think it has to do with like me getting my hair done. I've been wanting to style it more. I've been curling it a lot more. I'm going to be using their 25 millimeter Wanderlux curling wand. It just looks so nice and luxurious. It's going to be a full on get ready with me. Literally I'm going to be doing my hair and my makeup which is rare. <laughs> Cup shines in the light so nicely. <laughs> I'm just going to turn it on. My favorite thing about this wand is that it has the temperature control because literally all my other wands don't have that and it annoys me so much as it like heats up. It's like literally just counting down. I'm putting it on 400 right now. Actually, I probably don't need it that high. I'm going to do 380. See, I like to have that control, which all my other ones don't. So when I curl my hair, I just like... Well, first of all, I'm going to brush it out. I'm just going to put my hair, I like to split it up in like two. So I just like put half of my hair up and I like to do that when I curl my hair. It just makes it that much easier. It is heated up already, which was really fast. I'm just going to start curling. I just get like sections about this big. My personal favorite size for my hair is the 25 millimeter. Um, they do have two other sizes if you have like thicker hair or longer hair. Um, but yeah, I just wrap it around the barrel. And I leave the ends loose. But this wand does have the rose gold titanium. That's going to give you like really long lasting curls. And you don't need to leave it on here that long. And then I like to hold it like this. Um, just so it kind of cools in my hand in a curl. That's all I do. I like to kind of pull on the curl afterwards. Like after it's cooled down. Just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. But yeah, like I was saying, it has the rose gold titanium. Which is going to give you longer lasting curls. It's good on people that have trouble um, keeping a curl too. Like if your hair doesn't hold a curl, this is definitely going to help. I mentioned it does have the temperature control, which I really like. It's also good if you use wigs and stuff too, like synthetic wigs, because you need like a um, like a cooler temperature, which my other ones don't have that. And when I would try to curl my old wigs that I had, um, like I wouldn't be able to because I couldn't like change the temperature on them. So this one goes from 130 to, it says it on here, this is the box by the way, it goes from 140 to 430 degrees. I only take like the same size curl each time, I like to kind of make them bigger or smaller, that way you have a little bit more texture. I'm gonna speed through this because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me curl my hair for like half an hour. <laughs> Seeing you guys out, you can see my Christmas tree in the back, um, but I'm just gonna take the top part of my hair now out of this little tiny bun. Just finished the bottom half and then I kind of just like ran my fingers through the root. I'm just gonna just curl the top half now. I forgot to mention I am curling away from my face. Um, sometimes I'll go like away towards, away towards, like I'll switch it up but today I'm just going all away from my face. I just finished curling my hair and honestly, that was like really fast. Usually it takes me about half an hour to curl my hair, but I just watched a 16 minute video while curling my hair. So it only took me about 16 minutes to do my whole head of hair. Kind of um, run my fingers through like the root to kind of give it a little, little zhuzh. I'm gonna brush through it a little bit just to kind of break up the like harsh curl. This is what like I always do. And yeah, that's pretty much how I always curl my hair. Oh, I do have a discount code with Foxy Bay for all of their curling ones. It's so bomb and it holds your curls also like for a long time. Like I don't wash my hair every single day. So I will have curls for like a couple days after I do my hair like this. So it's really convenient. They're also really good gifts for the holidays. You get a curling wand and you get a curling wand and you get a curling wand. Everyone's getting curling wands for Christmas. Just saying. You can use my discount code and get some money off, a lot of money off, your curling wand for yourself or for someone else for the holidays. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put my hair back for the rest of the video to do my makeup. <laughs> a bag full of stuff right here that is new stuff that I want to try. So the first thing is actually this brow stuff. This is the model's own brow tattoo kit. It's like a cushion brow product which is very strange but I'm very intrigued. Um, I just got this sent to me the other day and I was like, I want to try this ASAP. Very interesting. It's like a liquid to 
powder kind of formula and it comes oh my god i need to do my brows so bad well until i can do my brows we're just gonna um use this little little thing here and just get rid of all this and pretend that that never happened um because i looked at myself in the mirror and i was like wow that's um tragic i'm just gonna brush through this i like the little this is really cute it comes in here it's like a little dual ended brow brush it like folds and you open it up like that i like that it snaps too because then i know it's secure this is what it looks like and it's like a cushion it's like the cushion foundations but for your brows which is really weird so i'm gonna start off with the darker part and it's not like super liquidy either which is what i was scared of oh wow okay i was scared it was gonna be like really harsh it doesn't feel wet either which is really i'm very intrigued i feel like i don't really like the brush in here though it's like too thick we're gonna use this one this one's from sigma it's the small angle brush e65 saturate that a little bit take the lighter side do the front part of my brow with that I actually feel like this gives you a pretty natural looking brow. I mean, natural for me, I mean, <laughs> everyone has an opinion on my brows that I normally do, so. I am not mad at it. This actually looks pretty good. I'm shook. I feel like because my natural shape of my brow is kind of weird up here, I feel like I need to go over that with a pencil. But for the most part, I actually really like this. It doesn't leave your brow like crunchy either, which I like because I hate when I use like brow pomades or something like that that leave my brow like crunchy. I don't like that. I'm just going to go with the pencil like right here, kind of sharpen up my tail and then kind of round this out right here. actually clean this up with concealer really quick and then do the other brow and then I'll be right back. I went ahead and did my other brow and I cleaned them up with concealer and also primed my eyes and you know how the saying's like oh your brows are your brows are sisters not twins? Well today they're like second cousins so let's just ignore that. So for my eyes I'm actually really excited about this. I got this in PR and I was shook. If you guys follow me on Instagram which you should be following me on Instagram by now. Well, what are you doing? But on my Instagram stories, I unboxed this and I was shook because this palette is so beautiful. This is the In the Sun, Into the Sun palette by Glow Up Cosmetics. And you guys, look at this freaking palette. It is so unbelievably pretty. This like orange up here, I swear, no camera does this orange justice, but it is so neon. Like, it's a neon orange. It has, like, um, a bronzer, highlight, and a blush in here as well, which very convenient. And also, it says up here, too, which I remember them telling me this. With every purchase that you make, Glowed Up will donate a portion to an animal in need, which, yes, yes, yes. Um, and they are also cruelty-free, um, in case you are wondering. I like that it has a transition shade up here or a brow bone highlight if that's like more of your skin tone or something. Like another crease shade, a dark brown, and like other colors. We have shimmers in this one and I'm excited. I'm very excited about this palette. The palette is $36. Cruelty free, paraben free, gluten free. Go in with Shelly and use this as like my first transition shade. Like I said, I already primed my eyes. There is kind of a bit of kickback, but I don't really mind that. In the pan, it looks a little bit darker, but I think this is more of like my skin tone. I made Isla, 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 this shade up here, and put that in my crease. This is a Morphe MB23. Blending out fine. Okay, I'm gonna go in with another brush now. Um, this is a Moda crease brush. I'm gonna go in with that same shade, but kind of just put that more in the crease now. I feel like I need another crease shade though. Should I go in with the bright orange? I don't really know. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the bright orange because you know what? I don't know. I don't really want to go in 
with that orange today. Like I'm not feeling it today. But you know what? We'll do it. I'm Morphe M441. I'm gonna put this in the crease to take the first brush that I used and kind of blend that edge out just a little bit. Oh, in with the uh, dark brown in here, which is called Adara. It's this top shade right here. Dark browns really... I always like to try dark browns because I have a lot of issues with dark browns in general. They end up being pretty patchy. It's really hard for me to find a good like deep brown. Even like swatching it, it's not as dark as it is in the pan. It's really soft though, but I don't think it's like that dark. Other brush with Cleopatra, whatever was left on it to blend that out. I'm gonna go in with another shade first. This is uh, Cloud 9 from ColourPop. You see, like that's pigmented. I'm just kind of placing it on the outer corner and then blending it into the outer crease a little bit. Okay, so I'm actually gonna kind of change up this look a little bit. I don't want to do another like warm, orangey look. I feel like I always do this look. Um, so I'm actually gonna make it a little bit more red so I could try this shade right here. I'm gonna take my, I actually just bought this. I have used it, but I love this eyeshadow so much. This is Urban Decay Relish and I'm obsessed with it. So I just kind of cleaned off my brush a little bit. I'm just gonna put this in my crease and make this like a warm orangey red cranberry color. Um, I'm gonna put this in my crease. But I love this eyeshadow so much. I bought it during the VIB sale because my ass was not gonna spend like $19 normally on an eyeshadow so I got it for like $16. Um, and it's so bomb. I've been using it like every single day. So I'm making a little bit more red. It still has the orange to it, but it also has the like reddish brown to it. So this one is called Foxfire and I'm just gonna apply this with my finger. It's, oh, that's really pretty. Oh wow, that's really pigmented. That is so pretty. I love that so much. I'm gonna apply it with my finger but I'm gonna go over it with a damp brush too to see how that looks to see if it makes it a little bit more intense because it's pretty intense right now but I want to see like how intense I can get it. So I just sprayed my brush with some Fix Plus. This is the Sigma um, E54. Ooh, that is so pretty. I'm obsessed with this color. I'm gonna be using this color like all the time. Definitely made it a little bit more intense. Not like that much, but it definitely made it a little bit brighter. I'm using the Fenty um, Pro Filter Primer. So I'm just using the Fenty foundation. This is literally like the only foundation I use. Uh, I'm in the shade 190. I have a new concealer. So I'm just going to use my Tarte Shape Tape as usual. I need to go buy another one because I'm running out. I also really want to try the new Urban Decay concealer. i um, really excited about that. Crazy like how much concealer can like make a look look put together. Because <laughs> like before concealer I always feel like I look crazy. So I'm going to set my under eyes. Sorry I don't have like any new like powders or anything like face things setting my under eyes with my wet my wet and well my um nyx powder the hd i feel like every time i come on camera my freaking banana powder looks like this but i use it so much have, or there's a where's that palette at bronzer in here it's, it's a little light but let's see and i'm talking about this palette i didn't mention that already I'm gonna also try, I have another bronzer um, from the Pure Holiday Collections. These are like their little tiny palettes. Um, but there's like a bronzer in here. So I'm gonna try that out. This one's a little bit warmer. This is the contour powder I always use. It's the Makeup Geek mm, Infidelity Powder. I'm gonna contour my nose with that really quick. I have some new blush and I have a ton of new highlighters, so... I'm gonna be using those. I'm gonna take the RCMA No Color Powder and bake my nose area with this. Absolutely hate this packaging. The more I use it, I've used it for like years and I swear every single time 
I use it, I hate the packaging more and more. Like, it's so awful. And I know you could put it in like another powder container, power, powder container, um, but I don't have one, so. And the one I do have, it's like, um, it was like a travel size powder, so it's too small. I do have a new blush. It's not like new, but it's new. I haven't used it before. But this is the Lottie London Blush Crush. And it's so funny because all of their blushes are like named after celebrity guys. And this one is Drake. Um, so I'm going to use this one. It's like a peachy pink. More pink, I guess. <laughs> This is what it looks like. It's really cute. I like the packaging. It's a really pretty blush. It looks like there's like glitter particles in the actual blush, but it doesn't really translate on the face. So that's good. Highlighter. I have a few, but I'm going to decide between these two. I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette, but this one has like a little bit more crazier colors. Um, there's like a really pretty like rosy one in there though. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Let me show you guys. That is really pretty. I really want to try this one. This is the pure highlighting palette that they came out with for the holidays. Um, Star Bright looks really pretty. Twilight. Okay, I'm going to try the pure one because I'm really excited for this one. I have been wanting to try this palette since like they like show previews of it and stuff and they just sent the holiday collection over so I want to try this one. I'm going to go in with Star Bright first and see how that looks. Oh bitch. Oh yes. I, I love it. It's so pretty. I'm going like really light handed first just to see like what it looks like with a light hand. I like that there's a mirror in here too. That's really, really pretty. Go over it with the Wet n Wild one. I'm taking this shade. Is it Sweet? Sweet Peony. Oh, ooh, that looks so pretty. I love the Wet n Wild highlighters. They're so bomb. A little bit here. Yes, I'm living. I love that. The pure one down my nose because the, the other one's kind of pink and I don't really want pink down my nose. So for my lower lash, I'm gonna go back in with the palette that I used earlier. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Cleopatra. So I'm taking Cleopatra on my lower lash line first. Smoke that out a little bit and kind of connecting that to the top. Because I really wanted to show through. Because I'm going to put um, relish on. On top of that. But I want the orange to show through on my lower lash line. So I'm kind of bringing it a little bit lower. I'm going in with uh, relish from Urban Decay. I'm going to put that over it. Or like closest to the lash line I would say. This is a Sigma pencil brush by the way. It's an E30. I actually take a bigger brush with Cleopatra from the Glowed Up Cosmetics palette. I'm just gonna blend that out. So I'm gonna apply some eyeliner to my waterline and I have been using this eyeliner so much. Um, this is the Urban Decay 24 hour glide on gel, whatever these are called, the eye pencils. <laughs> this is in the shade Alkaline. They sent this over with the Naked Heat palette and I've had it for a while and I never like thought of using it. I honestly thought it was a lip pencil, but it's not, it's an eyeliner. And it is like the prettiest eye pencil in the entire world. I literally wear it all the time now. It just like adds something to your look and I am obsessed with it. It is so pretty and it lasts in the waterline for like ever. So when I say that I only want to use one pair of lashes for the rest of my life. I'm not joking. These are the Time Los Angeles Ghost Lashes. I'm obsessed. These are like, oh no, I got freaking lash glue on them right here these are like the prettiest freaking lashes ever like they look so good on like everyone and they are just like so I don't know if you guys can see them but they're so pretty I have used these but these are like new to me as well so time Los Angeles is my friend Ashley's brand 
So these are her new, these are synthetic. She used to have mink, but these ones are synthetic. And they're cruelty free. And look at this. Like they just look so pretty. These ones, she just launched these like not too long ago. If you guys want them, you should definitely get them. I do have a discount code. It's just Katrina and it will save you some money off. I also have a discount code with Pure if you guys like that highlighting palette. That code is also Katrina and that one gets you 20% off. And then I do have a code with Sigma, which is just uh, Trains 10, I believe. That one gets you 10% off on the brushes. So a little self promo over here. Now that I have done that, I'm going to do my inner corner really quick because um, I forgot to do that earlier. So I'm going to take Pure Highlighting Palette and I'm going to take this shade called Frostbitten. It's like a pearly kind of color. I'm going to put that in my inner corner. Ooh. Oh wow, that's so pretty. I literally, I think one of my favorite parts of doing makeup is adding inner corner highlight. I love it to be like super bright and intense. I think that's like one of my favorite things about doing my makeup. Adding that to my brow bone, just a little bit. So for lips, I think I'm gonna go dark. Yeah, I have tried these liquid lipsticks, but I haven't tried this particular color yet. These are the Time Los Angeles liquid lipsticks, one of my favorite formulas. I love the liquid lipsticks. Um, this one is Wine Country. I feel like it would go good with like the red on my lid. Ooh, this is so pretty. This actually ties in really well with the lid color. I always get asked about like what this formula feels like too. And it's like very creamy, like a very creamy kind of formula. So pair this with like a nude lip or something. But I like to just be bold all around. This is the completed look. I'm gonna kind of run my fingers through my hair now. Kind of give it a little messier look. And yeah, this is the completed look. I feel like this look is perfect for fall, like this time of year. I know winter is like coming up. I feel like this would be like a really pretty like dramatic, warm tone kind of holiday look. I love it. And I like how the dark lip kind of just like tied in with the lid color. And yeah, I really like it. I hope you guys like it too. Make sure to check out Foxy Bay down below. I will leave the link to the wand that I used earlier. Um, if you guys are interested, like I said, there is two different, uh, two other sizes, not just that one. I totally forgot to mention that I am having a giveaway with Foxy Bay as well. It'll be over on Instagram, so make sure to go check that out. I will leave the link to the Instagram post in the description box for you guys if you guys were interested in entering. And yeah, I have some discount codes for the stuff that I used today. So I will leave those down below for you along with everything else that I used in today's video too. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I love doing get ready with me's. I think they're so much fun and just trying out new stuff with you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.